Well, hello there. So, today I thought would make a video about uh, the risk challenge since it's been quite a while since I made the last video. I think it was the video about the iBook G4. So today we're going to make a video about the desktop part of the risk challenge which is this. This is a Power Mac G4 MDD, uh, known as MDD for its mirrored drive doors. Now this machine uh, came out in 2003, I believe, maybe 2002. Um, it is the last version of the Power Mac G4. This one, to be exact, is the MDD 2004, uh, which was a version of the MDD that was released after the Bar Mac G5, because there was still some demand for uh, Macintosh computers that could run Mac OS 9, and this was the last one that could do that. So, let's take a look around the machine. So, in the front, of course, we've got the mirrored drive doors, and there's my tripod. Uh, we've got power button, headphone jack, which is kind of noisy, a big ass speaker, some fake ventilation. That's not ventilation. Uh, the actual ventilation comes from the bottom of the case. It comes from that little hole right there. Uh, those just have mirrors there. They, uh, yeah. Uh, on the sides, we've got Apple logo, the latch for the side panel. On the other side there's just Apple logo. On the back we've got our expansion cards. None of these uh, came installed from the factory. This, these are all upgraded. More on that later. We have a power socket. This is an IC 10 amp um, socket. We have the model and all that stuff. We have two USB ports, 1.1. We have two Firewire 400 ports, Gigabit Ethernet, Twisted Pair, uh, we've got a 56k modem, that's an RJ11. We've got a line input, and we've got a headphone output and line output and all that. And then we've got an amplified uh, sound output for the Apple Pro speakers. This is actually a 2.5mm uh, four pole TRRS jack with uh, a jacket around it. Uh, this one, this output actually uses a Class D amplifier, which was introduced in the digital audio uh, Barmac G4. And it's actually the same uh, Class D amplifier that's used for the front speaker, which actually becomes a subwoofer when you plug in the Apple Pro speakers into the machine, which is very nice. Uh, let's take a look at the inside and the specs a little bit. So, Power Mac G4 is pretty much the best computer to service ever, or upgrade, or anything. Just pull on the latch, it opens up. Now, the latch system has been upgraded from the older Power Mac G4s. This latch, so in the older Power Mac G4s, there was a plastic piece behind the motherboard that would slide out, uh, slide down, sorry, and it would sl uh, slide some little catches there and there. And what it would do is it would unlock the uh, case. Those latches were made out of plastic too, so they'd break. They, they all break eventually. So what they did on this one is they actually just put some little pegs right there that go down. And they push on this and that actually releases some metal latches which latch onto these. Uh, really really good metal thingies and yeah problem solved so let's look at the insides of the machine uh, as you will notice it is very clean and very aesthetically pleasing uh, more so than the trash can uh, Mac Pro which yeah was a complete downgrade uh, so Let's take a look at the innards. So we have the motherboard, 
motherboard has uh, four 64 bit 33 megahertz 3.3 volt PCI slots. They're not PCI X. We have a modem. This is a 56K modem. It is the same model, the same model, sorry, as in the G3, uh, later G3s, I think, and uh, most G4s. We have a PC card slot, which is actually only for the airport card, which provides the computer with Wi Fi. That's what this antenna cable is for. Uh, we have, let's see, the dual CPUs under this massive, massive heatsink. Um, these are dual 1.25 gigahertz PowerPC G4 CPUs or Motorola 7445s, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they are made by Motorola, by Motorola and now Freescale. Uh, but yeah, these are overclocked to 1.33 gigahertz. Couldn't get them any higher. Uh, we have uh, two gigabytes of DDR memory, non-ECC. This only takes up to two gigabytes, so that's maxed out. Uh, for the graphics card, we've got a GeForce FX 5500, which has a 5200 BIOS, but it's actually running at 5500 clock speeds. This one has 256 megabytes of video RAM. It's been upgraded. This originally came with a Radeon 9000, which was fried, by the way. Uh, we have a SATA card right here. This is a Silicon Image SIL 3112 based card. So it's SATA 1. And we have a USB 2.0 5 port card with an NEC chipset. And yeah, it's a 2 port USB card. Here we have the optical drives, it only has one. I think it is the super drive, so it reads and writes pretty much everything. Uh, we have an 80 gigabyte hard drive, this is my boot drive. It is a SATA drive, as you can see. And yeah, it's really slow, I won't upgrade it. This drive is supposedly a storage drive, so there's three ATA buses on the uh, on the board, we have an ATA66 bus here, which is for storage drives. We have an ATA33 bus down there, which is for the optical drives. And then we have an ATA100, Ultra ATA100, sorry, for the boot drive. This is the original drive that came with the machine. It is a 120 gigabyte. Uh, Hitachi Disk Star, which is an amazing hard drive. It's really fast. It's actually quicker than the SATA drive that I have there. Uh, this one has uh, Debian GNU Linux in it, which is what I plan on using. Uh, I'm not going to use Leopard, maybe for some commercial applications, but yeah. Uh, and here we have the uh, noisiest part of the entire computer, which is the power supply. This power supply has two fans. Uh, and they make a lot of noise. So, in the front we've got speaker with a little box, which makes it useful as a subwoofer, and then we have the board with the uh, headphone jack and that uh, the power button. So, uh, what I was going to talk about. So, I'm planning to upgrade the mach this machine. Uh, to, let's get back a little bit here. So I'm, I'm planning on upgrading the machine to use it because right now it is quite unusable. So first upgrade and the most important graphics card. So the graphics card I plan on upgrading to either a GeForce 7800GS which uh, it's, it would be a very expensive card, and I don't really have the money. So, I mean, if, you're watched, if you've watched uh, the video up to this point, I am assuming you are one of my hardcore viewers. And, uh, yeah, there's a PayPal link in my channel, so you can help me upgrade this machine, uh, if you will. So, yeah, it's totally optional. I'm still going to make the videos. So, uh, I can either get that. Uh, the GeForce 7800GS, which is going to be near impossible, or I can get a, an ATI Fire GLX3, which is not as powerful, but 
I mean, it's what I can do with my money. So, yeah, that's first upgrade. Second upgrade, the hard drive right there. Spinning rust on a desktop computer uh, or, or a laptop in 2017, almost 2018. Yeah, no. So that's getting an SSD in there. And before you all, like, get angry and, like, start, wow, start shouting at... Uh, your screens uh, yeah it is no it, it is a SATA 1.5 gigabit per second bus and uh, it's outdated and all that uh, let me tell you this I put an M.2 SSD in my iBook my iBook uh, like that thing is running uh, thanks to two adapters so it's running from an, an adapter to, from M.2 to MSATA and then MSATA to IDE and it's an IDE uh, an ATA 100 bus I noticed the difference a lot in that upgrade and yes I do actually use the iBook uh, so I'm, I'm getting used to it so yeah uh, yeah that's the hard drive and then if I have if somehow I uh, get enough money to wipe to wipe my ass with uh, I'm going to change the fans on the power supply for some Noctuas since you know Noctuas are sleeve bearing fans and those are running vertical so yeah and as in the way of upgrades I don't think I'm getting anything else the fan the main fan is also uh, I have changed it it is a three bladed fan now which is pretty much the same model as used in the um, in the Mac Pro so yeah, I think that's it for the video I'm looking forward to do the risk challenge uh, if as soon as I get that graphics card I'm gonna need it I'm gonna need it because this system needs the graphics card so yeah if you have a 7800 GS or a Fire GL uh, X3, send it my way. Um, begging a little bit there. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.